definitely saw someone. Is he dead? Yes, sir, he's dead. What's going on? What the hell is happening here? Are you all right, sir? What? Uh, yes, yes, I'm all right. Sir? He was followed into the woods by two of our constables. I've already had a word with them. Well, they were here. They saw this. Yeah. Not exactly. Oh, excuse me, sir. Thank you. Yeah. I'm on a tape. Take up the screen. Oh. Yeah. Can you move the tape there? Yeah. He was spotted leaving the house. Our blokes followed him into the wood, but they lost him. Yeah, great, great. And they heard the shots, ran in this direction, found him here. They found a spade beside the body. You say they lost him, huh? Oh, there must be dozens of paths from the house to this place. And then the killer couldn't know which path he'd take, could he? Balkan was coming here, Lewis, to this place. That's what the killer knew, and he waited here. The constable say if Balkan brought that spade. They weren't sure, sir. They said he might have been carrying something. I want this area dug up, Lewis. Well, all of it? Not as much as it takes. Well, what are we looking for? Whatever Balkan was looking for. Where is Morse? He's put a call through, sir. He's gone to see Lady Balkan. What? Isn't he at the scene of the crime? No, sir. He left the men digging. Digging? Lady Balcom, before James died, I asked him if he could think of anyone who might be doing this. Please, can you? <laughs> they hurt so many people, I wouldn't know where to begin. This is very important. You might be planning to kill again. If I could help, I would. But I can't. You must think me a hard and insensitive woman, Chief Inspector. My husbands and sons are dead. Yet I shed no tears. Nor shall I. All three were strangers to me. I can have Lorraine bring a Simba. Coffee, if you'd like. Not now, thanks. They were horrid boys. And he was disgusting. He never loved me, you know. Ever. Even when we were young, he never kissed me, never was gentle, never tender. It was like the beasts in the fields. And he shaped my boys in his own image. He took my babies from me. Long before all this happened. You're sure about coffee? We can have some cake, and you can help me celebrate. Celebrate? Celebrate what? I'm leaving this place, Sergeant. This was his house. I'm going abroad to start a new and happier life. And the company? I'm going to sell it. I should have done so years ago. But he said he'd have me certified if I tried. <laughs> And he would have. But he's not here now. None of them are. I'm free to do as I please. Isn't that wonderful, Chief Inspector? <laughs> Nothing, sir. If we even knew what we were looking for. Keep the men digging, Sergeant. Sergeant. Chief Inspector. Mrs. Cliff. I have explained we can't allow civilians through into this area. Yes, sir. I'm afraid the constable's right, Mrs. Cliff. Well, it's obvious you're looking for something over there. Couldn't I help? Mrs. Cliff, James Balcom was murdered here last night. Dear God. 
Then, of course, you don't want some amateur crashing around in there. Chief Inspector, I'm so sorry. No, no, it was good of you to offer, but uh, we're having our own equipment brought up. But one of your constables, Chief Inspector. I could show him how to use this in seconds, and it might save some time. Why not? Quickly, for God's sake, get us out of here, quickly! They're digging holes. You have my men digging holes. Yes, sir. What is it we're looking for, exactly? Oh, I'm not sure. There are no dogs. These men have no equipment. I thought this might save us some time. We, we have technology, Morse. We have machines for this. God. It's not enough that we're allowing wholesale slaughter on our patch. Now we look like amateurs. Sir, there's something in here. And dig it up, for God's sake. Dig it up. Morse. We've got a break, Morse. Is this a break for us? I don't think we're there yet, sir, no. We must have picked this up on the detector, sir. Who is that, Morse? I have no idea, but I'll wager his initials were S.F. What you've brought, good Morse, is the remains of a male, six feet in height, probably 20, 20-odd 20 years in the ground. From the condition of the bones, I'd say he wasn't an old man, but I can't be precise about his age yet. Could you tell us how he died, sir? That's for pathology, Sergeant, but however it was, it was violent. His skull's been crushed, fractures to both arms and on one leg. Two fingers snapped. Have you had time to look at his clothes? Yes. And guess what I found? I don't have time to guess. There were traces of sandstone moss. All sorts of stone. At last, Lewis, we're getting somewhere. If we've got his initials, if we've got his tray. Might have been reported missing. Let's just hope that he was. Where are we now? 1972. He's here. Stephen Ford. Missing persons report filed here in Oxford. Itinerant stonemason, age 35. Reported missing by his brother, Robert Ford, 15 Weller Road, Nottingham. These are statements from the Boltons. They're all three of them. They say he worked at the house for about six months, finished the job and then moved on. Supposing they killed him, sir. Well, why would the Boltons want to kill a stonemason? It doesn't make sense. It does if he was Emily's lover. He could have taken everything from the Balkans. They found out about the affair and they killed him. And whoever's doing this knows they killed him. And that accounts for the choice of weapons. The hammer, that could be just a coincidence, but add the chisel and the initials, and James Balkan could have been in no doubt. Someone knew. He may even have thought they'd botched.